A WNBA yes. team is actually a step closer to coming to Oakland. Headlined by the Alana Beard Group. Now, Alana Beard is a former WNBA champion, five time all defense, and she really is leading the charge for this one. And there are going to be three expansion franchises, and I fully expect. Oakland to be running the floor by 2025. Well, that's pretty amazing. Obviously, fans are going to be very excited about that. And Kelsey Thord, our reporter, has this story tonight talking to young group of basketball players in Oakland with a Oakland girls youth club. She says they would be especially inspired by that move. Sure. Meet Oakland's own Lady Rebels. These girls, ranging in age from 7 to 12, are a force to be reckoned with. They come from around the East Bay and aren't scared to take on any team, girls or boys. We want all our first games, but then we like lost two games. We want to try to get some boys in the But boys eat boogers. The Lady Rebels' biggest fan is her dad. LaTroy Quinney was the one who pushed the storied Oakland Rebels basketball program to create a girls team. Like when you see them practicing, their players is different, you know, from the boys, you know, not taking them from them, but they just play with so much more fight and so much more hunger than them, you know, they want it. LaTroy himself played for the Rebels as a kid, so of course he wanted to pass that love for basketball down to his kids, including his daughter. Oh, I love this team. I love it. I've been here 35 years. I want to change it for nothing in the world. Now I got my legacies. Both my sons play, my daughter playing now. <laughs> All of the Lady Rebels are huge basketball fans. Many of them have older brothers who play the sport, and a few have even gone to an NBA game or two. I'm in a Warriors game. Do you want to go to a women's WNBA game? Yeah. You think that'd be cool to see if girls play? Yeah. That wish may soon come true. The city of Oakland is pushing to get a WNBA team to call the Oakland Arena home. If that were to happen, these girls would find themselves practicing just a few miles away from some of the best players in the world. For their coaches and their parents, that would be the opportunity and inspiration of a lifetime. I hope they do get one. That'll be a good thing for the girls. I mean, all girls, because I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of young ladies and a lot of ladies, period, that love this sport. They play with so much passion. It's a passion that can be seen in all of these girls, and one they say they'll be first in line to see in the WNBA players, if indeed their town gets a team.